this is Sean. We are on a job today in Oak Ridge, and this customer has a ton of water coming across the road, across their neighbor's yard, and across a natural area, wooded area, and then ending up in their backyard, and it just is completely washing out the, their whole backyard, and not only that, but their front yard as well. And so for this project, the homeowner didn't want riprap going across the front yard and so we're going to do a riprap channel across the backyard and then we're going to put it into a culvert and so you can see me right here with the big excavator digging the culvert that's going to be a 15 inch culvert all right we got our first segment and we're bedding the pipe in right here really well so that we get it nice and, and supported in that ditch. This was a piece of 6 inch PVC that they had a previous drainage system so we got that into our pipe and we'll be heading on up the way. I mean, I'm just, I didn't know if it makes it. Sometimes that mud and kind of hold it, hold it good. My brand new t-shirt. It's being tested today. Hey, that's a lot better job. Sean is proud of you. Alright, let me uh let me spray that. Oh you got it. Go ahead. Good? Yep. Keep going. Nice. Spray me a shovel. Huh. See where it says home right there? Slide home. Yep. Go on. Bending the end up over here. That's okay. It'll bend back. It'll bend back. <coughs> Just a little bit more. Maybe you lift it up here a little bit. Well, it's kind of like this. Is it good? Yeah, it's almost there. There's a somebody wrote on there. It says home on the pipe. So when it slides there, you know you're. In the home. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Hey. That's her. That's it. That it? Yep. All right. Now bring me your level. So I when you get a chance. I'll bring it. All right. Slid it home.
That's it. Yeah, I felt that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Feel it seat in there. Yeah. Bring me your level. Sean, when you get a chance. I'll bring it. Put it home. That's it's falling, falling like crazy. crazy. I can tell, but let's just check it. Make sure. It's always good to be sure what's in it. Yep, full of bubbles. All right. It's flying. And we're not going to get too high on that side because we're grading downhill already. Yeah, and look how deep you are. You're good. Yep. That's perfect. That might be your sump basin. Yeah. It's a little smaller too, mm -hmm. ain't it? Yeah. Won't even charge you that much for it. <laughs> This is our last segment here, and we're gonna install our inlet on this side here and line it with riprap. But we've got a full bubble right there. We've got a full bubble going all the way down to the drainage basin. Do I need to this strap on? That's why they don't only make it that big so you get it in there right. Yeah. <clears throat> one way to do it, and that's the right way. I think it's just to hold it there while it gets installed. Mm -hmm. Is there any way we can level it out a little bit more? I think that's her. Yep. Uh, if anything, I'd like to pick up on that end a little bit more. But We'll dig this out a little bit more, put a little concrete pad here, and then our channel will be going up there. Right. Think it, I don't even think you need to dig that out anymore. What I do is just push this down right here and put the concrete on it. Okay. Put up, fill this right here up with concrete, yep. just this little from here to here. Like. Yep. I'll do a little more than that, but yeah. You think so? Yeah. Might as well. And that concrete keeps pushed up yep. right and everything. And it'll be a nice barrier for the water transitioning and we'll... Mm -hmm. We'll grade it. <coughs> We need to put a level on this and see if it's grading that way. Yeah, it is. It looks like it. Man. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get it bedded. Bed this part around here. Yep, the sides mm -hmm. around it, yep. Mm -hmm.
as let's go, right? Yeah. Look at all the bees at that beehive. Yep. <laughs> so the problem they're having here is feel that. That's a lot of water is coming across this this these woods right here. There's a road back there, and the water just comes across the road, comes through the woods, and then just washes out right here. And so somebody else installed this river rock here. Now you would never want to use river rock. River rock, first of all, is nice and rounded. You never want to use river rock for erosion control because it flows. When you push on it, it flows. It's too smooth. And look at look what happened here. This was all redone and the water coming through here has all torn this all up. Washing the round rock. Around. Yep, it just washes the round rock around. Mm -hmm. So it looks pretty, but you need that angular rock with riprap for erosion control. So we're gonna pull all this out of here and we're gonna use this channel here mm -hmm. and this channel here and put new riprap in and then make a channel that goes all the way down to our inlet of riprap. And so the homeowner didn't want the riprap going all the way to the drainage basin across the front yard there, so that's why we did the culvert there. So we're just trying to give that water a place to go and a place that's armored. So we gotta move all this river rock out of here too for the homeowner so I can do that with my bucket. We are just getting cleaned up for the day, but I wanted to show you really quickly. We got these pipes all squared away, all these corrugated pipes. So we were worried about these two not having any fall going that way, so we just dumped them into here. Okay, cool. And the other two. I talked to him on the phone the other day. Did you? Yeah. So I wanted to reinforce where the water is coming into this inlet. And so a couple few bags of concrete in here. Also that lip on that inlet is meant to be held down with something. So I'd rather use concrete if I can. So we're we gonna do another bag, guys. What do you think? 
maybe around the side here because it any energy that comes in here with the water, we want to we want to reinforce it really well. Come up mm. on the banks. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. And then we can put riprap around here. Mm -hmm. But I'd really like to reinforce that bank because the homeowner is saying there's a lot of water that comes through here. Oh, oh yeah. Y'all yeah. like coming downhill. So yep. <clears throat> yes, sir. So that's what we're here fixing. I really like this rock too that they brought in. Yeah. They had to go all the way up to Eden to get it, and and the neighbor owns a big dump truck. So they took care of delivering the rock, and we're taking care of the rest. We can probably squeeze through here, but I don't want to run over their plants. Okay. You can drop it right here, and then we just toss them down. Whatever works for you guys. Yeah. So you want to do dump. that? You want to dump that? Yeah, dump. And then once you come out, I'll dump back out. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm going to grade that out just a little bit, too.
we've made some pretty good progress up here. And so this is what our channel looks like. This little area here, we're just adding some dirt and rounding it. And the homeowner, and same here, the homeowner's gonna add some more mulch. A little bit further down here, we've got some old stumps here. And so I tried picking at it with the excavator, but I just couldn't do it. I got this little one right here out. But Bruce is on his way with the stump grinder. So hopefully he can get those knocked out for us. And we are almost out of rock. So the homeowner is going to have another load delivered in here. And we should be finishing up on Tuesday afternoon. So I'm going to regrade this a little bit with the skid steer. And you can see where I added some up there. But really we want a bunch of dirt in here so that the water flows across here. Right now you've got a little bit of a basin right here and the water just kind of hangs around back here. So that's what we're working on right now. This is the first job I've had this new new skid steer out on and boy it's nice. These tracks I think are key too. So I didn't really even operate it much without the tracks on it. I got those ordered, got those on and it's doing great. And this, this, it's not that wet out here, but you still, when you're making a bunch of trips through one area, like that gate right there, the tracks are nice because they don't leave the ruts. We are finished for today. So you can see how our channel is starting to shape up. Just talked to the homeowners and they're really happy with everything, how it's turning out, how it's looking. So I'm excited about that. And we've got a little bit more rock that's gonna be delivered tomorrow. And we'll finish up in the next couple of days. Finish up with this grating, get it all seeded and strawed. So there you can see the stump grinder just left. So he got those stumps ground out of there. So we actually have a channel continuous the whole way. And that really was needed. Because the homeowner was worried about the appearance of this riprap, we had talked about doing some kind of a culvert. So catching the water here and then doing an underground culvert all the way down. And that would have been fine except for one thing. This yard right here from the neighbor, it slopes up and the water comes, surface water comes down here. And so by keeping this open channel like this, this is going to collect, con continue collecting surface water the whole length of it. So any water coming across here, let me show you real quickly where we have real strong evidence that there's a lot of water coming from the neighbor. Look right here. So you see all this debris? This is all debris there. So there's a ton of water just flowing right through this. And I think what's probably happening is the water's probably backing up here somehow 
getting clogged up you can see where there's debris up against the fence and filling up right here and overflowing so again by having this channel open like this it's going to continue to collect surface water from the neighbor and head on down to the culvert we are finished with this job so got a bunch of grading done here had to go back and get five more bales of straw because six wasn't enough so we did our channel drain up here and that's going to catch the water coming off the patio here Tied that into their existing system, which was Schedule 40, and then we regraded this a little bit, headed on down toward the inlet to our culvert. We put a bunch more dirt in here and over in here, and the culvert's coming out here at the drainage basin. So Corey got all this wall rebuilt really nice. And here's the new exit. There's where a lot of the water's coming from. You see that stream right there? And so that's going right into my customer's backyard. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen with that. And there's our channel. There's still a ton of surface water coming from up there. We tried to catch a lot of it with that channel drain. In this clip you can see just how much water is coming down. This is from the neighbor's yard and this is what my customer's backyard used to look like before we did the channel.